baby. Echt waar? Laat je dat nou zo vallen? Alright everybody, this is gonna be fun. Welcome to my car. Uh, the thing is, I had problems with my car radio. This is an Android Auto radio and it's pretty smart. Well, to be fair, it's really dumb because all that it does is you connect your telephone to it with a USB-C cable in my case, or if you got a different phone, a micro USB cable. And the problem with that is that it stopped working. Like I got a new phone in January, February, something, sometime earlier this year, and it somehow just stopped functioning. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And then it turned out to be that my father, uh, he took, took a look at the rear side of the radio. He was planning on replacing the USB port, like the, the female USB port at the rear side of the radio. Before he wanted to replace it, he, he, he decided to like take out the radio. We took out the radio and he scratched the surface of the contacts in the USB uh, port and uh, wiggled it a little bit with his uh, Swiss Army knife and turns out it works again. How did we figure it out? Well, this radio, of course, in a car, your radio should be mounted fairly stuck to um, the car itself. Because this plate that you see, this whole front dashboard plate has been replaced specially to house this radio inside of this car. Why did I want this? It's easy. During a drive you could navigate on a nice size screen. It comes with all kinds of perks, but now it just happens to remain stuck. Um, the thing is with this, the rear side of the car, we figured out that you are able because this radio doesn't only have USB. While we were fixing this radio, I figured out you can also attach stuff like rear view camera. It also has an AV input. I don't have a rear view camera, but it happens to have an AV input. And therefore, I was thinking, how cool would it be if we'd be able to hook up a computer, well, a little retro gaming computer, but the problem is I don't have a socket in my car, no power outlet. So you can attach like a Game Boy to it, but that doesn't have an AV output. So, but this thing is perfect. Why? I'll put back the radio for now. Ah. All right, for now this will do. So I decided to check out this device. This is a orb or a retro gaming control. And look how tiny it is. It has a flimsy joystick. It has an A and a B button, a reset and a start button, and an on and an off switch, and that's all there is to it. You can even attach it to your keychain if you like. Why the fuck you do that? I don't know. But I attached that cable in the yellow for video and in the white for some, for, for like left or right audio, I think left. Red is right, white is left. So if I start the car now, Don't forget the windshield wipers. There's no need to start the car, by the way. Uh, the radio has to boot for a while. It gives you a traffic warning. I always have to put up the, the brightness of the screen. You can change that, but because it was summer, I set it like this and I'll inverse it during the winter time. Then I have this kind of, it looks like a mini jack kind of cable. If I put it in here, I switch the AV or the, the input to AV and I'll just turn this on. Turn up the audio. Start! So this thing comes with 200 games. And yes, you can do this while driving. Is that wise? No. Will I ever? No. But when parked, when you're parked, this is a lot of fun. Look how good this is, honestly. This con 
console consists of about 200 clones for popular games. So if I reset it, you go back to the main menu, you can go to the right and you have like 200 options to choose from and all of them are clones from existing games like Video Poker, Water Pipe, Wild Worm. And I do think this thing is not smarter than a... Uh, than a NES. Alright, this is some form of snake. I'm that little worm right there. And all I need to do is collect stuff like apples. It's really lame. Alright, one more. Crystal ball. Don't you just love the chip tunes on this? I hope you guys don't have a reflection. But I can turn off the, the motor by the way, there's no need for that. That's Moxie. Like what if, stop this. This is horrible. It's a lot of fun, but it's horrible. The thing is, what I'm gonna do is instead of connecting this, will this work with, I don't know, something cooler, something like this. Will this work in my car? Of course not. Or will it? Let's figure this out. Oh, it smells old! <laughs> Let's put away the cardboard. But the problem is with the real NES is that it has this input into the device and this fake Nintendo or controller system, whatever you want to call it, has this kind of mini jack kind of input, which is, or output, which is uh, not working in this, of course. So I have to replace the cable at the rear side of the radio again so if I replace these wires I'll just keep them dangling in here all right all right so now we got this cable attached to the rear side of the radio which has yellow and red um, yellow for image red for sound that we can put inside of the Nintendo, but that raises the next problem. Where am I gonna get some power for this device? Because this device goes into a power outlet, a European one for that, to be fair. So I can put that on the rear side, it doesn't go on the side, I can put it on the rear side of the NES. And of course hook up the controller took it up right here. I got myself an extension cord. That is kind of cheating because yes I'm doing this on my car radio as an AV source or an AV monitor but the next problem is that um, I have this extension cord rolled out right down there on which I could put my power source. Though um, that won't work while I'm driving, unless it's a really long power cord. All right, let's see what happens if we turn on the radio. Ah, haha. That's funny. It's dinner time. Well, around dinner time, and I'm trying to find Bart. And let me tell you guys, if you want to find Bart, you just have to follow the wire. We're starting here. You're not gonna believe this. Look, 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 look. It's going all the way down. It's continuing here, where this is heading. Oh my god. Is it, seriously? Fuck, dude! 
was this? The, f the fuck are you doing? Seriously, what the fuck are you? Seriously. I thought you weren't home yet. I mean... I'm playing on my Nintendo. At least I'm planning on playing on the Nintendo. Jesus, Bart. It's Why in the car? Huh? Because we can. Jeez. Okay, so can I start dinner or not? Yeah, sure. It works! Nothing is impossible! It's far from perfect, but it's good enough. We also have the Nest Bower Zipper. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Switch, switch them around. <laughs> it doesn't seem to respond. Yes, people think I'm weird. <laughs> but will Super Mario 2 work? <laughs> One dash one. Imagine all the things you can do with a car radio. You can do a lot. Believe me, you can do a lot. You can have a lot of fun like this. All right. But now the last question, what's even more important, instead of playing on this device with 200 games in one, 200 and clones, 200 clones in one, can we play the golden game that Marty sent us, the 210 in one cartridge, which is also a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm gonna have a dead car battery in the morning. It doesn't work with Marty's cartridge. I tried fiddling with it for about five minutes. But it just doesn't want to do anything. Not even when you take out the cartridge, put it in a little bit, like like slightly, then push it a little bit further, push it down instead of pushing it all in. But it doesn't do more than this. Oh well, you can't my heart have Then we have gotten all three of them. Let's just try. Let's say.
although I think this could be handy in traffic. All right, this was just a little gimmick, just a little bit of having fun with something I just figured out about my car radio that I already owned for six years. This is a member only video for the YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm planning on making way more. There's gonna be another one about a tiny computer maybe really soon. You really want to see that. For now everybody, thank you for being a member. Even if you got a gifted membership or a membership of your own, you guys are fucking awesome. Stick around for more because I plan on doing idiot stuff like this way more often. I mean, your support means the world to me. I get to do awesome stuff like this and you guys seem to enjoy content like this, so why not? I even might consider making this video public for others to see because, I mean, come on, playing Nintendo in my car right now. You know what? I'm gonna play some more. See you next live stream, guys. See you Monday. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs>